Hello everyone, I'm Bad Pan. About who eats an apple a day, cause it keeps the doctors away. In today's video, we're diving into how to create that iconic movement system from Fierce to Fatim in Unity. A big shout out to our friend with this ID for suggesting this tutorial. Wishing you all the best wherever you are. This video is part of a series where we explore Unity tips and tricks, and it'll also be put inside another series of videos covering functions from the game Fierce to Fatim. You can check out both of them through the channel. Plus, if you haven't checked out my own retro horror game called Fractured Psyche and you like retro horror games, you can actually find a link in the description to it i'm currently working on an android port for it as well all the assets and resources used in this video are linked in the description on my github with all that being said let's put on the mask and begin we have an empty scene here that i just created at the moment there's nothing in here there's only a camera and a directional light so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a train so we can walk on it yeah that is it so one important thing that we need for this video is uh, the Unity standard assets. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. You guys have to download it. I actually have it here. I recommended this package a lot of times before. It's a very simple package that has an FPS controller pre-made inside it or a third person controller. But we're going to cover the first person controller inside it that we're going to use for our Fierce the Fathom game. When you download it, you'll be left with something like this, a Unity package. Then you can double click to add it or you can just drag and drop it here to add it. And since I already have this package, I don't want to add it again but you're gonna click on this all and add everything that is and you're just gonna click on this import i have it so i'm just gonna cancel it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that folder that you just created as you see it is called standard assets double click to open it go inside characters first person character go to prefabs and just this is the fps controller inside it you're gonna go to your scene view and just gonna you know drag and drop this fps controller inside your scene and just you know delete the camera there is right now we have the fps controller selected by default it is like under the ground just move it a little bit up until it is above the ground you can just go ahead and check it out see this is a very simple fps controller inside unity and you walk you jump you press shift to run and everything is pre-made inside it so we're going to tweak some settings to make it look like Fierce the Fatim in Unity. First thing we need, we have a camera here and an FPS controller. Uh, the settings are inside this script on the FPS controller. You can, you know, change walk speed and run speed. Let me just show you in here. So this is it. Let me just make it smaller a little. And I make the walk speed like 10 and run speed 20, you see. Yeah, it is like very fast. Uh, first thing we gotta disable is the jump speed because we cannot jump as a Fierce to Fathom. So, so right now you press space and it's gonna jump. You're gonna, you know, make jump speed zero. So when you press space, it doesn't move. It does this that you can just, to face this happening, you can just go inside the script and deactivate the pressing space to, you know, jump. You can go inside your FPS controller and go to this section that says, you know, if we are not jumping, then jumping is like pressing space. You can just turn this off. Right now you press space and it's not gonna jump. Let's go ahead and check it out. As you see, I press space and nothing happens because we just deactivated the jumping function inside it. And where this is, is actually inside void update and it is under, if you're not jumping and we, we press jump, we just jump. We have this mouse look, you can just, you know, clamp it and make it smooth, the camera look, you see? As you see, it looks, you know, it moves smoothly. And it is actually very beautiful to use, but it is not actually used inside Fierce the Phantom, but you can, you know, just use it to make it better. You can just smooth the time, but give it like higher values, for example, 15. This is for the that, you don't need field of view kick. And for this head bob, you see, this is head bob, it goes up and down. And we deactivate it, there is no up and down. Press shift moves so by default fierce the phantom doesn't have anything related to head bob even if it has it has a very low amount of it so we're just gonna you know go ahead and give it a very low amount maybe a little bit higher like half of the value that we use you know give it this head bob if you don't need it you just can deactivate it gives it that Fierce to Fathom look, and there yeah, that is it. So one more thing that we have, jump bob, we don't have any, we don't have jump in here, so we're not gonna use that. Then we have this footstep sound, it automatically has. So you guys don't have to use this for this footstep sound, 
I'll just add some more footsteps and show you how, you know, difference it makes to use different footsteps. I added seven sounds for different footsteps that you can use in your game. So I'm just going to go to my FPS controller and I'm going to make it zero. Since I want to add all of them at once, I don't want to give it one by one. So I just click my FPS controller down here. I just click on this lock icon. So when I press anywhere else, it's not going to change. Then I'm going to select all the footsteps and I'm going to, you know, drag it and drop it onto this section. And automatically it's going to, you know, give all this audio clips to it. And that is it. So right now let's go ahead and see how much difference it made. Just, you know, the footstep sound, you see? And this is not a perfect footstep, but if you have, you know, dirt on the ground and, you know, So you see, this is already better than that sound. Really smooth movement, like first of all, I'm in Unity, and you just don't, you can't press space. Just move, you press shift to, you know, run. And you can look around and that is it. So that was how to create this movement settings like first if I Unity. I know this video was very simple because I used the FPS controller from the Unity standard assets and which is actually a free asset, but I think it is, you know, removed from the asset store. No worries. I, again, I say I'll leave a link to the Unity standard assets in the description. You can download it. You can use it in any of your project. That is, this asset is very useful. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be very amazing. You can subscribe to see more contents like this. You can tell me anything in the comment section below. Maybe suggest suggestions anything you want to say i would be very happy to answer it thank you so much for all your support hope all the very best for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video